So uh, some people throw around uh, this idea of mind uploading or whole brain emulation. And uh, I regard these uh, concepts as the most uh, misguided uh, hubris, if you like, or intellectual um, failure uh, of modern times. And for me, those people who believe that mind uploading or whole brain emulation is possible are uh, deluded. I mean, I, I think they are under a lot of delusion, and I'll explain why. Um, you know, for one, uh, nobody knows what kind of coding principles there are in the brain, especially as far as uh, consciousness is concerned. And you know, people have this idea that there would be a looking lookup table or, you know, some coding scheme that the brain employs uh, to, you know, code information coming from the outside and within the system. But these things are based on uh, really, you know, um, rudimental uh, application of the coding mechanism of digital computer, which is uh, useful in a way, but it has nothing to do with the coding of consciousness. Um, because, you know, you know, for example, if you say that this particular uh, bit or bit series of uh, within the computer calls for uh, color red, that mapping structure is given from external point of view. But in the brain, uh, everything is coded within the system. Um, you know, when you see something red, there are no lookup tables. Uh, you just have the query, query of red, and that doesn't depend on any lookup table. I mean, it's just there. And nobody understands how the brain does it. Uh, I am putting forward this uh, idea of Mach's principle of perception, which is uh, based on this idea that uh, the mutual relations between the neurons are important. And, you know, nobody has worked out uh, the detailed mechanisms of how it is possible to, you know, st have consciousness starting from the mutual relationships between the neurons rather than an external lookup table. So that this whole idea of, you know, saying that is possible to, you know, move all the information within the brain to some digital computer is based on a really a weak uh, theoretical basis. And this idea of whole brain emulation, uh, I mean, you know, nobody knows what kind of parameters would be relevant for a brain. People generally start from this assumption that the neural firings would be the relevant uh, parameters when you code, um, well, when you t try to emulate uh, brain activities, but nobody knows for sure. The water molecules, uh, the movement of water molecules might be relevant too, or the second messengers within a cell, or light in you know, or electromagnetic field. I mean, nobody knows. I mean, so nobody knows what are the relevant parameters when it comes to uh, the question of consciousness within the brain. So this whole idea of whole brain emulation is based on a really, um, you know, simplistic idea about what are the relevant uh, parameters within the brain. So, you know, there are many other things, like, you know, uh, the fact that you have deterministic chaos, but so even if you start from a fairly good representation of what the brain state is at a particular moment, as time passes, that brain state would deviate from the true trajectory if there was just a tiny bit of, you know, error in the initial state because of deterministic chaos. So all these things uh, make this whole idea of uh, mind uploading or whole brain emulation uh, impossible or ridiculous. And, you know, I, I, I'm constantly amazed by uh, you know, these hordes of people who claim that uh, mind uploading or whole brain emulation are possible ways of reproducing the conscious state. Uh, for me, uh, they are just, you know, overconfident and they show signs of hubris and going to failures. And, you know, uh, it would be great if we can be ported to a digital self, but, you know, it as even as 
a material for uh, science fiction. I, I think uh, they are rather cheap.